All right, here we go. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coffee with Marcus and Mark. Hey, Mark, how are you? Hey, Marcus, long time no see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, since it's Monday night, I didn't see you yesterday. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, hey, the great steak dinner, by the way. Oh, yeah, fantastic. So, yeah, we went out to uh, in Las Vegas. As you know, we had the three-day Rockwell Live event in Las Vegas. And on Monday night, we went to Mastro Steakhouse, which is one of my favorites. Uh, I like the one at the Venetian. Um, what's that called? A Delmonico's. And I like the, the Mastro Steakhouse. And it was really, really good. So we went out and... It was. Yes, I'm still full. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, so, wow, uh, markets are definitely interesting this week, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we're getting a little movement. I mean, gosh, on Monday we had this higher open. It looked like things were going to be great. And then uh, things reversed course. Similar yesterday, we didn't make highs like we did on Monday. But pop higher in the morning, it looked like we were going to be off to the races again. And then things fizzled out. So, uh, definitely a little more volatility. Uh, it looks like there's some uh, indecision in the market right now and some movement. Movement is what we like. So Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. No, that's I mean, that's great. And this morning, the markets are slightly down. If you look at the top row, so we have the E-mini S&P slightly down pretty much to the unchanged mark. It started much worse earlier, but then uh, bouncing back right now, going into the open. Same with the Nasdaq and the Dow. Nasdaq still uh, the worst performing here, down point uh, four percent. Yeah, that seems to be a theme over the last couple of weeks. Nasdaq, you know, for the year being the strong index by far, and then last couple of weeks a lot of the tech stocks struggling, and whether that's profit taking or just kind of a, a shift into some of the you know blue chips and standard stocks, uh, who knows? But Nasdaq definitely uh, lagging behind the S and P and Dow. Yeah, and honestly, that's uh, what I'm thinking right now, that we are looking at a shift in uh, the big portfolio. So the big guys might be shifting portfolios and going more away from the tech stocks here into the blue chips because the blue chips are performing well as, uh, this year. So and it's always a little bit more conservative to do that. So I, I do believe that this might be some portfolio shifting that we see here, uh, that they are selling some tech stocks, taking profits and putting them in S&P 500 and in Dow stocks. Yeah. All right, so we shall see. And uh, yeah, yesterday, I, I'm sorry, I slept through my alarm. So sorry about this. But yeah, you were trading live. You were trading the mini S&P live, right? Not you out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, because when, when I logged in, I saw, hey, you were nicely up. <laughs> I didn't mention that yesterday. Okay, okay. So what, what did you do yesterday? Okay, there you are. I thought I heard you, Marcus. Yeah, uh, it, it's raining here in Austin, and uh, especially since I'm out at the lake, um, it seems that rain is affecting my internet connection, which is so ridiculous. I mean, it's 2007, <laughs> but I mean, I'm living here a little bit remote uh, at the lake, and uh, it's, it seems that time one. I mean, AT and T doesn't even come out there. Uh, Google Fiber, I won't have in a long, long time. So uh, the, the only company that is coming out here is Time Warner Cable, also known as Spectrum. And I don't think they, they care so much about the three houses that are here. <laughs> <So> <laughs> it is definitely a little bit more remote. And uh, this is why uh, it seems that for a moment the Internet was cutting out here. All right. It's, it sounds good now, though. It sounds good. Yeah. You know, um, Marcus, we were talking about the Seahawk strategy and looking at an entry in the E-mini S&P, uh, also crude oil. We got a fill in the E-mini S&P, started with a loss. And I, I think we were getting filled right when I finished up uh, coffee with Marcus and Mark and uh, went on to. Uh, I think we had three, four. four trade for the loss from the first trade 
Um, so. Even though we started the session with a loser, uh, kind of, I hear you typing. Yeah, no, 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 I'm here. No, uh, I mean, this, uh, when, when I logged into the account, I saw, hey, it's up, so all is good. <laughs> all right, yeah, it seems yeah. that I'm, I'm still a little bit intermittent here, and I might have to restart my router, but I'll do this after coffee with Marcus. So, um, but the volatility that we see in the markets right now is good, as you said, because it means that we do have actually signals on PowerX Analyzer popping up again. So let's take a look at those uh, this morning, because uh, there were there were a few popping up. So I'm bringing up here PowerX Analyzer. Let me just maximize this. And uh, the ones that uh, came up here this morning was uh, BFR was one of them. And uh, BFR, I mean, as you can see, very nice, uh, showing nice trends here. Uh, a little bit low in volume, but definitely above our threshold. Our threshold is 200,000 contracts traded a day. Uh, had some nice runs looking at the performance here. We had nine winning trades, seven losing trades, and the risk reward ratio, uh, it's one to one and a half here. I wonder, have I optimized it? I believe so. Um, so, I mean, it's not the greatest winning percentage, but uh, hey, the profit factor over the past year was 5.05, .05, so not bad at all. Yeah, you know, it was interesting, Marcus. Uh, the risk reward is is fine um but i noticed that too it caught me off guard because normally with the optimization we could get a little bit better it's nothing wrong that it's uh you know two to one here um but it's a, a decent candidate yeah absolutely so another one that uh, that does look good is cvi uh so cvi definitely a very nice one very nice trends and you know our three criteria when we evaluate stocks is first of all we look for trendability meaning that we see, uh, let me just get rid of the crosshairs. I'm not a big fan of the crosshairs. Here we go. Uh, that, that we see very nice short trends, both to the upside and the downside. And especially this is what we see here. Uh, I mean, that is fantastic. Uh, recently has been grinding higher and now a very strong signal. So here, on the other hand, we have risk reward ratio of 1 to 12.75. So that's a that's a pretty big one. So right now, PowerX Analyzer is considering a move up to 40, which again, I mean, this stock could move $10, no doubt about that, because look at what it did in the past. I mean, it moved from 15 to what, $30. I mean, it doubled. So no doubt there that this stock can move. So here we had uh, eight winning trades, 10 losing trades, winning percentage of 44%. So this looks like a solid candidate as well to me. What about you, Mark? What do you think? Yeah, I, I definitely like this uh, as a consideration here, Marcus. And I agree, it has the potential to move. And I mean, even when we look at the profit factor with it being uh, just about, I think, 373 for a dollar. So, even if we're going for this bigger profit target, sometimes people look at it and go, ah, oh, gosh, that's such a huge target. Is that realistic? Well, here's the thing. Based on how it's moved in the average daily range, we have a specific target in mind because we're using volatility exits. But we also see that in the past, we made $3.76 for every dollar risk. So even if we don't get that that big 12 to 1 risk reward on this, uh, there's a potential to, to still be profitable with a 3 to or four to one, what's actually happened is that there are some black bar exits where we don't get that big, big um, target, but then we have another reason to exit to lock in profit. So uh, this to me is definitely a, a candidate for today. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, looking at the average win, $892 versus an average loss of $191. So that's definitely very, very interesting. So another one, uh, surprisingly, also an energy stock here, New Star Energy, but this chart looks completely different. I mean, even though those are both energy stocks, this chart here, it has been going down, 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 and it's now giving us a buy signal. And uh, to me, this one here is looking good too. Let's just take yeah. a look at the numbers. First of all, we do have trendability, non-gappiness. We have one small gap here that occurred uh, when in April last year, but other than this, no gaps. 
very nicely uh, performing, made a bottom and now seems to bounce back here. So it's giving us a buy signal. So this one looks good too. We are looking for a $9 move. So this is from 31 to 40. And as you can see, very easy for this stock to do. Eight wins, six losses, a winning percentage of 57% and a profit factor of 4.75. Meaning that for every dollar that you lost, you made $4.75. So that's definitely another very interesting candidate here. So, and uh, whether you're trading stocks or options, I mean, we can also quickly took, uh, take a look at the options here. So the 30 call that PowerX Analyzer is suggesting here is only $1.68, uh, a very nice tight bid ask of $1.20 to $1.35. So I like to see that. Uh, so right now, if it triggers and make sure that the stock always triggers first, then we might have a, a possible entry here for uh, the option. And uh, I mean, this option, look at the reward and risk. We are trying to make $8.37, risking a dollar eight. So this is here, uh, what, one to eight ratio. So this definitely looks uh, like a really nice solid candidate here this morning for me. And I don't know if you guys can hear me or if I lost Mark. No, I'm sorry, Marcus. I was monitoring some Seahawk trades in the background. <laughs> okay, good. And I know that you're also monitoring um, binary options here. Anyhow, yep. so uh, New Star Energy, let's take a look at CVI and let's take at some options here. So here, since it is a buy to open, we're also looking for some call options. The call options here that is in the money is a little bit more expensive, $4.71. But again, a very, very nice reward risk ratio. We're risking 89 cents, trying to make $9.95. Also here, a uh, very nice tight bid and ask, 410 by 440. Uh, that's definitely interesting here. Uh, if this is too expensive for you, you can definitely go for the at the money option. The actual at the money option has a strike price of $35, costs $1.76. Uh, Keep in mind, right now it is still slightly out of the money because we are buying to open at 34.13. And uh, right now we are looking at a strike of 35. But since we are having a profit target of $10, this should be in the money fairly quickly. Let's, let's take a quick look at the chart here. So here we are, uh, he would be buying the 35 call slightly out of the money, but therefore rather expensive with $1.76. Nice risk reward ratio, $8, $7.96 is the reward, the risk only 69 cents. So this is definitely another candidate that is looking really good. Let's take a look at the third one here as well, BFR. So BFR, let's see if we do have options available. Now this is a sell to open, therefore we are looking for puts. And again, we have a 22.50 strike, $1.97. Uh, watch here, you see, this is bold. The bid ask is bold, meaning that the bid ask is fairly large. So keep in mind, keep an eye on this when you're trading it, if you can get a tighter bid ask. This is the last bid and ask that we received from yesterday afternoon. And it can be that it's just from yesterday afternoon. This morning, the bid ask might be uh, much smaller here. So uh, let's keep an eye on this one. Um, the risk reward here, again, overall for the stock, we're looking to one and one, one to one and a half, and we are seeing a similar risk reward here with the option. So we're risking 91 cents, trying to make a dollar 43. So compared to the other two candidates, the other, the other two candidates are definitely uh, a little bit more interesting because they're looking for a longer and nicer reward. 56 winning percentage. So it's not that this one here has an 80% winning percentage. So out of these candidates, uh, my two favorites would be these energy stocks, CVR and NS. Uh, just because I like the, the risk and reward ratio here, because if you get a home run trade, fantastic. And I see, Mark, that binary options are firing here. Yeah, we had a signal in the NASDAQ, so the US Tech 100. Yeah, fantastic. So this is looking good. Also, um, we did uh, during the our live event, we did do some live trading. I just wanted for those of you who were there, wanted to keep you updated on what's happening. So what we did do on Monday, we did trade DDD, both the stock and the option. 
And as you can see, it is nicely up here. Uh, it is a total of uh, what more than uh, almost $400 here. Getting there, uh, we did trade uh, a put on PVD, and right now it is still around the unchanged mark. We did also trade RMTI, that is a short trade. I should adjust my column width here so that it's a little bit easier for you to see of what exactly we were doing there. There we go. So we did trade this, and uh, as you can see, RMTI was slightly down, but now uh, it's uh, to, for today, we are in the profit, so we are up a little bit over $300 here on the positions that we took on Monday uh, during our live trading event. All right, binary options are firing. They are coming here, um, should be coming very shortly. Uh, so if you haven't received it yet, uh, Mark is sending out the text alerts and it usually takes a minute or two. That is why we are also working on an app and uh, the app is already available in Google Play, but we are waiting for uh, the final approval from Apple in the iTunes store as soon as it is. We will let you know and then you will be able to receive these signals here also through an app and push notifications, which makes it much, 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 much faster. You're going to love it. And uh, we hope that this is happening here over the next few days. All right. So this is uh, what we have for you this morning. Um, and uh, yeah, a little bit of uh, stocks and options trading here this morning, showing you what we are looking at, showing you the positions that we have as a follow up from the live trading event. And uh, that's all we got for you this morning. So wish you a fantastic day. Uh, it's midweek. It is Wednesday. So we have another two trading days in the week. Hope you're doing well this week. Uh, for those of uh, you who joined us during the live event, and if you did take the trades here, uh, it seems that you have some nice profit sitting in your portfolio right now. All right. You have a fantastic week and we'll be back here tomorrow morning. Take care, everybody. Happy trading, everyone.